Alright, hello folks and welcome back. Uh, is it just me or does this look familiar? Yep, same three lawnmowers. Uh, this is a follow-up video on the videos I've been doing, the video I did actually, uh, on these lawnmowers before. Like I said, I got these for $70 and I've been working on them. I've been doing some stuff, improvements, redneck modifications. <laughs> I've also been cutting with them a little bit even though there's not much grass around here. I found some brown scrubs to cut. And yeah, today I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of the issues that these have and some of the solutions I've come up with and some of the possibility. I'll talk about the possibility of selling. Can I get a profit off these? Should I get a profit off these? Is it is it viable option? So first, I just want to say I did not know that there was a lawnmower community like people that like to work on lawnmowers and restore them. I thought I thought that would be a really niche thing, but apparently that's a thing and that's awesome. I've, I've, I've already re uh, met several YouTubers in the comments section that were that are also do the similar things. And I've been getting some suggestions to look into selling these and getting parts, restoring them. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about that. So when I got these, they were in pretty bad condition, and they still are, because I'm not, I didn't buy any new parts for them, not yet. So let's talk about starting from this one. We'll do in the order that I did them in the video. So this one here is the smallest, and the list of problems. It came without an air filter, uh, it came with junk in the fuel tank, and it didn't run as a result of that, but I cleaned that out, that was a simple fix. Uh, the blade, <clears throat> the blades, uh, I don't think are meant to look like this. I think it's meant to continue curving up here. So the blades are rusted out. I think that's what that is. Let me know, is this meant to look like that? I don't think it is. That's a really jagged, kind of rough, rusty edge. So I'm pretty sure, and this one's even worse. Look at that. That's definitely not supposed to be like that. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure this blade's just been rusted out and really worn so you could resharpen this but the whole profile of the blades messed up it doesn't really produce a lot of air because it doesn't have much of an airfoil shape anymore and so it doesn't do a good job of sucking the grass up and it just kind of sprays it out everywhere which it cuts it cuts it just makes a rougher cut and isn't as it's not really what people are looking for and this is definitely not what people are looking for now I probably should have thought about this before but I drilled out the muffler and if, you, if I was looking to sell this mower, people don't want modifications on mowers. They want stock mowers, usually, unless it's professionally done. But this is obviously not professionally done. And it's a bit my fault because I was when I got these, I wasn't intending on selling them. I was intending on using them for tinkering purposes only and my own lawnmowers. Just cutting little bits, tinkering, because that's my passion. That's what I like to do. And also for my brother, he also enjoys that stuff. But if we were looking to sell these, that would not really be acceptable. People wouldn't, people would not like that. They wouldn't want to buy something that's louder. And <laughs> I mean, it does get better airflow, so it's not completely useless. <clears throat> Another thing is this had no handle. I'll try to go quickly here because there's a lot of problems to go through. It comes with no handle, so no air filter, rusted out blade, no handle worn out engine that has blow by, smoking, and other problems. Those are all things that you can fix, but it'll cost money. I don't know where you'd find a handle for this. You could probably get one somewhere off another mower, but then that mower doesn't have one. I don't know if you can buy them exclusively. The air filter you could probably get. It would cost something. The blade, getting a new blade, you could also definitely get. But once again, more money that you're putting into it. And I'm sure you could buy these for get cheap parts. And I'll t there's another problem why these wouldn't be great for selling, which I'll get into a little later. But now this one, oh boy, oh, oh boy, we're going to talk about this. <clears throat> now, it, it's not supposed to look like this. It had a cable that goes up to here. And basically, there's a handle that engages the blade. Uh, and that, ca that cable was broken. Or it wasn't broken, but the clip that holds it down from pulling up when you pull a handle was broken and it was also seized 
the cable didn't move. So I tried to loosen it up and it wouldn't loosen up and it wasn't working correctly at all and this was already broken so I just took it off and locked the blade in the on position because I, I it wasn't going to work. I'd have to buy a whole new, I'd have to buy another cable which I could have done as well. And then it had a bad spark plug but once again that's an easy fix. It had no air filter. None of these came with air filters which is strange. Is there an air filter thief when I got these? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no air filters on any of them. And then this one, this one, if I was going to sell one of them, it would probably be this one because it had the least wrong with it. It also didn't come with an air filter, but, oh, and it also didn't come with a, oh wait, it did come with a handle, but the core, the, the cable was also seized up. So that cable didn't work. It would just go and then not return at all. You'd have to like pr use pliers to pull it back through. And so you could get a new cable for that. But the blade on this one was severely bent. It was destroyed. It, someone had hit a massive rock. And I re-bent the blade so it's a little better. But just you can look at what I'm talking about here. These are not meant to be angled down. They're meant to be angled up. <clears throat> and then this side's the side that actually got the major damage on it. Look at that huge chip in there. That's not, that's, that's not normal use. That's a, that's a rock or piece of steel or something. And it completely bent the shape out of the blade out of shape. It was vibrating a ton. It didn't cut well. It cut into the ground at weird angles and stuff. So I tried to rebend it, but it's not perfect. And you can't just get that out by sharpening it. That would sharpening it would help a lot in the cutting, but it wouldn't <clears throat> it wouldn't fix the problem altogether. And I also drill out the muffler on that one. This one I have not yet. I also put a little throttle mechanism on this one. So basically this is this is wide open. This is a lowering this is a lower speed and this is an idle. This does not affect the mower's performance at all in any negative way. This is just cuz this one has a drive so I want to be able to drive across these rocks at a low RPM so it doesn't suck any of them up. And I I could just push it but this one's really heavy. Like you don't want to push it through the gravel. It's a pain in the butt. The last reason why selling these might not be the best idea is that actually the main reason is the market is not conducive here uh, I'll show this is a lot that's not it's for sale right now no one lives on it but you can see this is the kind of train this is central Oregon high desert there's not much grass there's these clumps of grass this is sand kind of and there's rocks everywhere and little bushes and juniper trees and that's it. So, and some people have lawns, but I mean, they're not, they're never, I don't see many big lawns around here. So there's just not a much of a market for these lawnmowers, especially not ones that are like this. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, it might, it wouldn't work too well to sell them, I don't think. But I, I'm willing to try. I'm willing to try. So, I don't know. I might try to. I might try to see if someone would be willing to buy one of these. After putting maybe a new blade on, this one would need a new blade, for sure, because this one has the worst blade out of all of them. It would need an air filter, and it would need a new cable and pull cord, and handle, which I don't even know how to get a handle for this. So yeah, these are more of tinkering lawnmowers. They're not really. They're they work. They all they all cut grass, but they they all have major problems that would contribute to not easily being restored. So now let's get on to some more interesting stuff. So actually before I do that, let me I'll give you a little update on the go-kart. So a while back, actually like a month or more back, I made a video on pulling the axle out of this to see if it was bent and in in fact was and there it is. And I've been searching and scouring the internet for I talked to the manufacturer of this go-kart, which is American Landmaster, I believe, and they do not manufacture this go-kart anymore, and they do not manufacture this axle for the go-kart anymore. It's imported from Shanghai, I believe, and they don't get it anymore. So none of the manufacturers, you can't get it online. There's huge backlogs for any place, any like 
there was go-kart part supply i think was one of the companies and they sold this axle but it's, it had a really long back order backlog waiting list if you will and they said they didn't know when they were going to get it so yeah it's it's it looks it's looking like this could be a while longer but i'm going to look into having a machine shop rebend this thing and to straighten it out and if that's not possible then make a whole axle from scratch like just mill the thing out on a lathe which will be expensive <laughs> but i love this go-kart i put already quite a bit of money into it with the engine and other things that have broken so i'm not willing to scrap the whole project all right but let's 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 cut with some of these things <laughs> dry, dusty sand. It's really, it's not, not a whole lot to cut around, but that's this thing. Sorry about that, I couldn't help myself. Back to the video. So the kill switch on this one is just this wire. You just pull it out and push it in. And I took off the spring so it doesn't want to pull super hard in. But you just pull it out, and I already primed it up and started it a little, so it's going to be easy to start. Hopefully. I'll prime it again.
here you can see the wing nut that holds the handle on just plop off and out comes the bolt as well. Long story short, I couldn't find the bolt, but by analyzing the footage, I was able to see exactly where it dropped out and find it. It was at this moment I realized the bolt had fallen out. Okay, so as you can see, they all cut. They all cut pretty well, and uh, yeah, they all cut despite having very dull blades. For this kind of dry grass and even wet grass, a blade doesn't need to be sharp to cut the grass. It just needs to hit it. Although a sharp blade definitely cuts better, especially through like woody material, it'll definitely cut better. So sharpening is something that when I get a grinder, which we're gonna get a grinder soon, hopefully. I'll definitely be sharpening these blades. So if I ever do find a way to sell one of these, find someone who will actually buy one, I will definitely let you guys know. But until then, we got some good tinkering mowers. Yeah, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.